Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number 17 from the May June 2012 International GCSE IGCSE Cambridge Paper 2 Variant 2. Um, this question has been requested for me to answer and um, I'm going to go through this question, the whole thing. The, 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 the student asked me to do number part C, but I'll just go through the whole question just for completeness sake. It says, 17A says, find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line joining A and B, given by these coordinates. So we have A have coordinates minus 8, 3, and B has coordinates minus 2, minus 3. Now the midpoint is basically uh, the average of the x coordinates for the x coordinate of the midpoint and the average of the y coordinates for the y coordinate of the midpoint. So you have to basically add these two x values together. So you have minus 8 plus minus 2 and divide by 2 that's the average of the x coordinates and the average of the y coordinates is 3 plus minus 3 divided by 2 so this gives you that's minus 10 divided by 2 and that's 0 divided by 2 so you end up with negative 5 and 0 those are that is the midpoint of these two points a and b then it says the line y equals 4x plus c passes through 2, 6, find the value of C. Well, you can just, you know that if this line passes through this point, that these values of X and Y satisfy this equation. They have to satisfy the equation. So they have to make the equation true. So for the point 2, 6, X equals 2 and Y equals 6. That's the X and the Y coordinate of this point. So they should satisfy the equation Y equals 4X plus c so this side of the equation and that side of the equation must be the same for these two points so when y is six this will be a six when x is two this will be a two now for this to be equal we can find the value of c you got six equals eight plus c that means c has to be negative two c is six minus eight so when c is negative two okay then this point is on this line Okay, this equation is satisfied and we can check it if we want to when we put y as when we put x as um, as 2 you have y equals that's 8 minus 2 which is 6 which is the same value of y that comes out here so you can make sure that we've done it right okay substituting the value of x as 2 in here all right gives you y equals negative y equals positive 6 all right, when c equals negative 2, so that's correct. Then part c, which is a question that was actually asked, says the lines 5x equals 4y plus 10 and 2y equals kx minus 4 are parallel. Find the value of k. So we know that when two lines are parallel, then they have the same gradient. How do we read the gradient of a line from its equation? We rewrite it in the form y equals mx plus c. We make y the subject when you make y the subject the coefficient of x is the gradient so if we take the first line 5x equals 4y plus 10 and we make y the subject you have 5x minus 10 equals 4y divide both sides by 4 so you have 5 over 4x minus 10 over 4 which is 5 over 2 equals y i've divided them separately by 4 because i want the x term to be separate I can see that the gradient of this line is 5 over 4, all right, which means the gradient of this line must also be 5 over 4. So if you look at this line, you have 2y equals kx minus 4. So if you make y the subject of this, you have y equals k over 2x minus 4. So I want k over 2 to have to be the same value as 5 over 4 because these two lines have to have the same gradient. So this, this value, this k over 2, must be the same as 5 over 4, which means k is equal to, if you multiply both sides by 2, you have 5 over 4 times 2. The 2 cancel with this. So k is equal to 5 over 2, or 2.5 if you want. And that's the answer to part C. So the key for this question is to know that when two lines are parallel, they have the same gradient. Okay? And if two lines have the same gradient... That mean well, and to read the the gradient of a line, okay, we re -re -re rewrite it uh, to make y the subject of the equation. Then the coefficient of x becomes the um, gradient. 
and the constant becomes a wind tip. We're not concerned about here. We're concerned about the gradient. So the gradient of this line here is 5 over 4. And the gradient of this line is k over 2. They have to be the same for them to be parallel. So k over 2 must be the same as 5 over 4. And then we can find the value of k by multiplying both sides by 2. So there's the answer to part C of this question. And I think that's the end of this question. Yes, it is. Um, other questions from this paper, once I get round to answering questions from this paper, if I'm asked other questions from this paper, will be in the playlist that appears over here. Other questions from this topic of straight line graphs can be found in the playlist that will appear, the link for which will appear over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. You can also go to the description and click on the description, the links for my my index of papers and topics for IGCSE and also for A level and AS level um, material. And um, you know, you might find some of that useful for now or the future or to share with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you soon.